Somebody started a fire. It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. If you recall, the Curio Shop was doused in gasoline by uh, Little Red, I believe, earlier. Um, Smiley has taken the liberty to set that, that Curio Shop on fire using the gasoline that Little Red had put down. Um, her thinking is that, okay, there's all this attention going on around the head, it's going to be really hard for her or anyone else to get it away from the pro wrestler uh, while there's this, all this media there. And so she thought, you know, fire would add to the chaos downtown and, pro and maybe pull people away from this odd kind of press conference that's taking shape. Let's see what our mayor uh, is going to do about it. Mayor Jr. is going to pat uh, Flush's wrestler on the back and shake his hand and be like, you are a fine specimen, doing a great job of entertaining the city. Thank you so much. Flush is going to try to get away. People are really in Jr.'s favor on this. Um, so it's going to work. Uh, so that's going to make Flush's wrestler confused. So he's, he's going to automatically have to delay. I need to remember what color Flush is. Flesh is purple. He automatically has to delay his next action, and he has the trait confused, so he's kind of like, oh. So that's going to make him pretty vulnerable to losing the head woman, which is what he has in his arms, holding her tenderly. Kat is going to point out to the police on the scene that the, the head is actually her stolen property and that they should confiscate it and bring it to her. Um, Little Red is going to intercede and say, as the chief of police, that uh, the head is evidence in a trial, so it needs to be, or in, in a crime, so it needs to be brought in uh, for, for, like, processing and all of that. Um, I think he is going to have the advantage in that. Uh, and so we're going to roll. He gets ones. He gets... Uh, threes, fours, fives, and sixes, and Kaz is going to get ones and twos. It would be pretty odd for the police just to turn it over, but she's a good talker, and so she's invoking that on her side. All right. So she got, oh, she gets it. They, they bring it to her, and these police are going to be reprimanded because they're not really following process by giving her the head. So our devil's advocate, Kaz and Cat, has the head now. Snugbug gets his mobsters to set some fires in the suburbs, so there's chaos elsewhere. He's hoping to pull more police out of downtown, um, but not before Little Red gets his police. Well, he gives them a very explicit order that they need to pull in the, the head for evidence. There was a lot of crime that went down surrounding this head, and um, there, there needs to be a larger investigation here. So he gives his police explicit orders to retrieve it from Ka. Ka is going to try to talk her way out of it. Um, Little Red is dominant, so she only is going to defend on sixes. Otherwise, the head is going to go into police custody. All right, so yeah, the head is in police custody, and I think it's a it's a short enough action, so it's still in the hands of some police officers. So we'll we'll put the head back in the kind of middle area here to to show that it's not being held by any of our players here, but rather by a police officer. The animal's kind of at a loss at what to do at this point. Um, he is a soccer mom. There's a bunch of chaos downtown. It would be hard to even argue that he could get his minivan in there because uh, he does have a minivan. Um, he'll have to go on foot, I think. But um, there's all these kind of high-powered people, people controlling the police force, people controlling the mob. Um, he doesn't have a lot of advantages going for them. The, the game has gone well past any sort of subtlety. But he's going to try. He feels like he has to try. So he's going to try to seduce the police officer um, and in order to get the head somehow. So his action is going to be to seduce this police officer. He actually had a delayed action, so maybe he can gussy up for the occasion. Um, people are thinking that's not really going to work. Um, I guess Little Red will go ahead and uh, conflict it. So... Um, the animal's taking ones. Little Red's getting two, three, four, fives, and sixes. Yeah, it doesn't work. But, yeah, 
his his other option would be to kind of just mess up the game further. <laughs> so I, I I think that was that was for the best. Stubby is going to make lots of siren sounds um, and honking using his human soundboard mimic ability, uh, and the idea is that he's going to disperse the crowd. There's an argument from someone else that. Um, uh, well, from Junior, that the crowd wouldn't disperse because of that, because there's already lots of sirens and things because of all the fires and chaos. So we're gonna have to do a, a reality check. It's not quite, a, it's not really a conflict because Junior's not doing anything to stop him, but he is arguing against it. So let's let's roll that one second. All right, the vote was against Weasel, so we're gonna roll two dice. So the crowd disperses which maybe they should have done uh, beforehand. That star was a six, by the way. Okay, she weren't clear. It's a one through five and then star. So I have the star be six. I could have it be star, or maybe I'll just have sixes be stars in the rules, because it's not like you have to do any addition uh, in this game. So if you get a five, if you roll a five, six, or star on that die roll, um, it'll work. Um, so the crowd disperses, no crowd, now, uh, which makes sense. It seems like you'd probably want to get out of downtown. It's got to be really dangerous. There's all these fires. There's murders. There's, yeah, the police don't seem to have things in very good control. <laughs> I guess poor, poor um, administration, maybe. But you'd think it'd come down to training. But how can you train for this situation? I know I certainly feel ill-prepared. Let's go on to Weasel. Weasel's going to delay, and so is Smiley. So that's going to bring us to Junior. Junior is going to order the policeman to hand it over. Um, this is going to be kind of an odd sort of conflict between Junior and Little Red. So Little Red gave him a, a different order. Um, Junior is technically Little Red's boss, but Little Red's kind of the policeman's direct supervisor. That's going to be really hard for the policeman to decide. So we're going to make it an even split. Um, we'll give Junior one, two, three, and we'll give Little Red four, five, and sixes. Okay, so it's not going to work. The the policeman's dutifully going to hold on to it, go by his what his police chief says, and let the the brass hash it out later. He doesn't know if that's the right idea, but you know he's used to that chain of command. Cat's going to delay. Flush is going to snap the policeman's neck and take the head back. Um, I think there's going to be an argument that Flush would get shot before he could really have the head. Because um, there are other police around. We're going to roll a reality check. Um, yeah, so Flush gets shot. He's going to have to be a new character. Uh, he, again, he didn't. He just doesn't know what else to do at this point. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what else to do. We don't know what else to do. Snugbug's turn. Snugbug got a majority of the group to agree that the police presence downtown is now thinned. There's so much going on, so many fires, um, fires in the suburbs, uh, fires downtown, um, so lots of cases ongoing. The head is not the the biggest importance to the police on the ground, even though Little Red is given explicit directives. It's, it's kind of like you can't really ignore the fires and all of that. Um, and, you know, communication has got to be messed up because there's going to be, you know, lieutenants saying one thing and, yeah. So there's lots lots of commotion going on. Police presence is thinned. A majority agreed to that. Um, and so he is going to say that his his men, are his mobster buddies, are, are going to be able to try and take that head away now. Um, that's going to be a conflict, I think, between him and Little Red again. Little Red's going to kind of stand in for the police on this. Um, Little Red is arguing that you know they're they're vigilant enough that they're they're not you know especially with Flush there, they're not going to be able to take it. This is a, a I'm kind of getting into weird territory in terms of like which of the two mechanisms I'm supposed to use, um, the reality check or the conflict. I'm going to use the conflict this time. I, I just think it's kind of more fun. Uh, and so let's see. How are people going to vote? Do they think Snugbug can get it from Little Red or Little Red can take it? i got to think about that. And then we'll do some more dice rolling. Yay! 
All right, it was an even vote with three for each and one abstention. Danimal abstained. He couldn't really figure out which would be better for him. And it kind of seems kind of arbitrary too, like these abstract forces, mobsters and police, who's going to win? Um, so we'll give one to three to Flush, or no, no, to Snugbug. Just get snug. I, I, I tend to look at Flush a lot. He, he really draws the eye. Um, and four, five, and six to Little Red. Okay, Little Red hangs on to it, or the police do anyway. He doesn't actually have it in his possession, which is important for the game. You can't, you can't fulfill your goal unless you actually possess the head, even if your goal doesn't explicitly require possessing the head. Um, there's one goal out there that, well, there's a couple that, that could arguably be used in that way. All right, so now it's Little Red's turn. Little Red gets the head. He's going to say they, they get it, give it to him. And so that's, a, that's enough of a short action, so you can't do anything else with the head at this point. But he does have the head now, um, and he's got a police escort, which I think is pretty, makes sense if he's going to be downtown in this craziness. He's important enough of a person. But Junior says then he probably gets a police escort too. So they both get police escorts. Danimal is going to crash his um, minivan into a nearby light pole and then like, like stumble out of the minivan and say, help, my children are in there. And he's going to suggest that that's going to cause the police who are guarding Little Red to go and help immediately. Um, Little Red's going to conflict that, saying that he's very important and they have to protect him at all times. Uh, we're going to have a struggle on that. I think we're going to give Danimal one to four, Little Red five and six on that. All right, so the he no longer has his police escort. They are going to help Danimal's children, who he was willing to risk, because uh, they are actually in the minivan uh, for this purpose. This is going to allow Stubby to use his metal pipe to kill uh, the police chief. I think, I don't think there's going to be much conflict on that. I mean, they could try to conflict, but he's got gladiatorial skills. The police chief is a police chief, so he does have a gun. I think, I think he'll be able to fight back. We're, he's going to say he shoots him first, because he's, he's got a weapon advantage, gun against pipe. But Stubby is going to argue that, you know, he's coming out of nowhere. But then there's not much of a crowd, so it's, he is pretty visible. But he already managed to elude the police once. Hmm. I think we'll go. Let's, I, I'm going to have to turn it off and let people actually vote, because this is kind of a trickier situation. All right, Stubby ended up with the advantage, so it's going to be one to four Stubby, five and six Little Red. And Stubby kills Little Red's police chief, so now he's just like this floating soul. And Stubby, I think he can pick up the head after that. I don't think that's unreasonable. Um, Weasel is going to try and now jump Stubby uh, with his world, with his Vietnam gun. Um, and he's going to reason, you know, Stubby was just very busy. Uh, and his gladiator, gladiatorial training isn't going to make him ready for another gun. Um, go through the vote again. I think people are more inclined to buy this one. Because now he's got, he's got the weapon advantage and the surprise advantage. Um, and he's also combat trained as well, being a, a former military person. So I think probably how it would shake out is Weasel has the advantage now. So it's one to four Weasel. Five and six Stubby. Stubby took it. So I guess Stubby killed Weasel. So Weasel's no longer a pilot, which Weasel's kind of grateful for. He kind of felt like he wasn't going to be able to do much as a pilot. Um, so Weasel's dead. Flush is dead again, right? And now it's Smiley's turn. Smiley's going to travel. She had delayed last turn. So we'll undelay her. And she traveled to... Um, the stadium, and yeah. Junior's going to assume the leadership role since the police of chief just died. Um, there'd maybe be a sergeant there or something, but uh, 
he's going to order the police to open fire on Stubby because he just killed their police chief. The police already want to do that, so I think that's going to happen. Um, Stubby's going to say he dodges it, and we'll say this is a conflict. Um, one and two in Stubby's favor, four, five, three, four, five, and six uh, in the police's favor. And yeah, they they killed Stubby. That was that was pretty rough. But he'd been evading a lot, um, and he fought really well. So that's on the ground. Stubby has lost his mimic powers. That's too bad. And he's going to get to be a new character. I kind of wish um, this had player elimination because the, the these lives just seem so disposable because uh, you just can kind of come back as some other random person, which is kind of fun too. Um, and I can see why they avoided player elimination because they were thinking, oh, this could be a long game. You know, it's a game of indeterminate length. You really never know how long it's going to go. And, um, you know, presumably you're playing it with humans and you don't want them to have to sit out. But um, you know, I'm, I've gone beyond the, the player count boundary of the game too. Um, and I'm having everyone play pretty sloppily because, you know, I'm not like planning out all the moves for everyone because, you know, you want, you, there's an advantage to being subtle, uh, but, which I'm not doing. So it's, it's really hard for anyone to get the advantage because there's, you know, eight other people who get to move before you get another turn. So it's, it's tricky. We'll see how it goes though. Let's go on with Kaz and Cat. Kat is going to move to the stadium, too. She um, doesn't really have a reason to go there, but she doesn't have much of a reason to stay downtown either. Her, I mean, she put in her best case for getting the head using the abilities she felt she had. Um, she got trumped by, you know, the ranking of the police, and the police have a point. They do need to process evidence. Um, and she doesn't particularly want to get shot. So she's wondering if maybe Smiley has some plan where she can do something. Um, she is aware of the different powers in the game. So she has, and seeing as what's revealed, she has some idea that maybe Smiley has something cooked up and she, you know, she can do a lot more about it here than she can there if uh, Smiley ends up being uh, successful. So let's see what flush is now. We'll have the white one beat in the tens place. 15. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's easy to find. He's a politician, a speaker, a deep thinker, charismatic, friends in high places, and famous. I huh. wonder how useful that's going to be. We'll say he's like maybe a city councilman. Kind of makes sense in the story we have developing. Uh, story in quotes. But yeah. Okay. Little Red is going to possess now a police sergeant. He's gone down the, the totem pole, but at least he's got a body on the scene near the head. Danimal opted to pick up the head. Now let's go on to Stubby. We have to see what Stubby is now. Because he died. 52. He's another pro wrestler. So he's the he was uh, Flesh's tag team partner, and he's going to come on the scene. There's not any media here now, so it's... Not as useful. I bet he kind of regrets that he did that. He got rid of the the media uh, for the most part. Um, but he's going to grab the head from the soccer mom. Be like, this was my partner's one true love, and now I will take his place as her, her beau or whatever. Um, and so he has the head now. I don't think the soccer mom can really stop him. Uh, there are police on the scene, but... The police don't really think either of them should have it, so it's not like they're going to intercede particularly on her behalf, and it's a little surprising to see yet another wrestler um, downtown, whatever town. Now let's see who Weasel is. He's 56. 50 star is journalist, press badge, trusty camera, hobbyist photographer, popular blogger, underground connections. That's another thing that'd be useful um, I don't know, he could maybe turn that to his advantage. Having the media present could be useful. Smiley's going into the press box, uh, well not the press box, but the, she's in the stadium recall. The place where the announcers sit, wherever that is, um, the announcer, the announcer platform. I think it's a platform, um, that you have to climb a ladder to get 
get up on. So she climbs the ladder to the platform. It's kind of like a like a really high diving board kind of platform um, above the stadium. So they have a good like top down view of the action and monitors where they can kind of see what the camera's picking up that, that goes on the jumbo screens all around the stadium. So she's up there. She's going to reveal her special power and as the gate crasher. And she's going to snatch. Forget you saw that. She can't snatch it because it's not free resting. It's being held by Stubby. So she has to wait for it to be put down. Other people don't know who she is, though many of them suspect who she is because she's so far away from the action. But um, so she's going to just go and start like um, ing ing ingratiating herself to the, the people up there. Um, and yeah, yeah, sure, sure, why not? Junior's going to have the police order Stubby to drop the head. Uh, he's not going to do it, so they're going to shoot him. And I think he's just shot. The head's on the ground. All right, let's go on to Kaz and Cat. Cat is gonna also is going to climb up with um, climb up to uh, Smiley there. And what's she gonna do? She doesn't want to. I think she's. I think she's actually going to also ingratiate herself with the people. Just be like, oh yeah, I should be here too. And she's a smooth talker and such a nice boy. And Smiley already proved it could be done, so why not let her do it too? And plus she has a baby. So she they're both just hanging out up on this platform, uh, kind of getting to know the announcers and making everyone feel comfortable with what's going on. And we'll go to Flush. Who did Flush? You know. Flush will delay. Snugbug will delay. Little Red's going to take the head, then Danimal is also going to delay. Now we have to roll up yet another character for Stubby. 61. He is a hacker. He is antisocial. He's got an app for that. Pale and frail and security schmacurity. All right. Weasel's going to take pictures of dead bodies. Smiley is going to delay. Junior is going to order the that the police to hand over the shrunken head to him little red so he's like he's telling the other police not little red because he knows little red isn't going to listen to him um little red is going to argue with him that the the chief of police said he wanted this booked into evidence um those were his last orders and he just died so we really should be um honoring his last wishes plus his procedure you don't just take evidence to a politician even if it is the mayor so I think he's going to be dominant in that. Um, it's a pretty good argument. But some people don't want him to have soul control. So even though his argument was better, I think he's going to get three, four, five, and six, little red. One and two for junior. Yeah, so little red holds on to it. We're going to go to Kaz and Cat. She is also going to delay here. Flush's turn. I can't even remember who Flush is. Is he, is he a new... Oh, yeah, he's that politician he delayed last time because he was going to travel... What's called call it? Purple. To the stadium. Um, Snugbug, who delayed last time. I have to decide what he's going to do. Snugbug is going to cause the um, high school to catch fire. Um, figures, you know, he's going to thin the police presence more. If there's fewer police, maybe um, he has a better chance of getting the head with his mobsters. He actually has a pretty good chance since he has this organization. However, I don't think he's going to have the time for that because Little Red is going to take the head and throw it into the fire um, at the curio shop where it all began. And he's going to burn this thing up and the game is going to be over because his secret goal was to completely destroy the head. So he did that. Um, Snugbug's goal, drop the head out of a plane from cruising altitude. That's that's a lot harder to do than <laughs> Little Red's, just to destroy it. Um, what was Flush's goal? Flush was, was to dress head like a date and take it clubbing. 
he uh, was almost successful in doing that. If if things had been a little more subtle and less just kind of madcap, he maybe could have. Kat had it set up so she could have used the head in a successful bank robbery um, if she had just been able to get it. Hers was also a little more complicated. Junior was super close. He had to name the head um, honorary mayor. So he just had to have it in his possession. I mean, he could have named it honorary mayor at any time, but he had to have it while he was doing it. Um, then the press got cleared out, and he wasn't quite able to get the police to bring him the head, despite being the mayor. Um, she had to write an ode to the head while it watches, and then perform the poem with the head to an attentive audience of 25 or more people. So she was going to do that. Um, she was going to use her gatecrasher power. To, to get the head and then hopefully be able to read it over the loudspeaker. Um, weasel, obtain a house with a mantle, put the head on the mantle. So <laughs> he kind of went a little more elaborate than this game was going to bear out. He, uh, he hid in the bathroom of the high school when he was that um, garbage man, and he was making the kids sick so that when they went home to the suburbs, they were going to... Um, make their families sick and then lower how uh, home values in the suburbs and then be able to uh, like afford a home there and that, yeah his was a lot harder to do too um what was stubby's stubby's was sell the head for two million dollars so he had the buyer lined up he'd he'd arranged that with with the help of these guys here but then um wasn't able to get the head and then Danimals, he had to find the head's body here and bury the head with that. I don't know where his slip of paper went. Um, this game's been set up for months. <laughs> it feels like um, it's it's a it's a lot of fun once I get into it, but it's it's also a lot to keep track of, and it's um, it, it can be hard to get going on it. It's not like you can just kind of see what's on a board. It's you have to kind of be imagining it all and. Uh, made it kind of ludicrous. It, it, it felt a lot like um, like fiction writing back in elementary school to an extent, um, except maybe more violent than what I would have written. Uh, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with this. I you know it's a it's a tough game to play single player. We really need to. It's it was just kind of a test to see if I could do it, um, and you know you you can't do it. But I th it's this game's a lot more fun with with other humans, definitely. All right, so what did that establish for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament? Well, um, in our next game, Little Red's going to kind of be positioned at the end of the game, and the others are going to have to vie to see who gets to compete with him. Next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, sports.